Hi guys, this Dremel bit ran me over $20 with shipping and handling. Is $20 a lot of money? No, not really nowadays. Is it a lot for a Dremel bit? Absolutely. This bit, for example, is already on the expensive side at just over $10, the Dremel 562, but I use it for nearly every project and it's lasted me over three years while still staying nearly as sharp as it was when I got it. I got this bit though because I was looking for something to help me remove a lot of material quickly to hollow out the cup of a spoon, and I came across it online. I ended up not using it for the spoon I was making since it took a few days to ship, but I'm hoping to give it a run for its money today. This is the 60 grit Dremel 801 carbide rotary tool shaping wheel. I got it because it looks almost like a miniature cut sole shaping dish that you would put onto an angle grinder. But if you look, it seems like this bit just has some specs randomly attached to the dish, while the cut sole bits seem a little bit more meticulously placed. It's a classic 8th inch shank with a 1 and a quarter inch bit diameter. The case says it can easily create compound curves, and I plan to use it to make a bowl out of this cherry round I picked up yesterday. For the price, I really expected this bit to be both effective and durable. A couple of red flags already was that the packaging had some flakes in it. I think it's just paint, so it seems transit alone might have damaged the bit. Also, the mandrel for the shaping wheel was really loose out of the packaging but a good sign is that when I tightened it, it bent the wrench rather than stripping the screw. Alright, let's get to the bowl. This will be a lot of wood removal, so I think it's a good test for this bit. I started with clearing out the center of the bowl. The 801 was actually starting out with a bang and was really removing a lot of material quickly. If you're curious, I'm using this at 25,000 RPM on a Dremel 4300, hooked up with a flex shaft attachment. After a few minutes of carving, it was holding up really well, with no signs of dulling or falling apart. Now I will say there are more expensive Dremel bits, especially going into the off-brand ones like the Cutsall Burrs, but this is the most expensive Dremel branded bit that I've purchased. Let's keep going with this bowl. One of the first things I noticed about this bit is it carved out material really quickly, but it also cleared it out with very few tool marks, even though it's only 60 grit. It was really, really controllable, and was a great shape for carving out something large and round like this. There's not much to say here, so I'll just put some real-time carving clips. I'm not sure if you can even tell in the video, but this thing was having no problem carving away this cherry. I saw lots of people online who love this bit for coping crown molding and baseboard molding. And if you're not familiar with that, it's that sort of decorative trim at the junction of the wall and the floor, or sometimes the wall and the ceiling. And when installing those, you often have to carve out the ends of the molding so that they seamlessly fit together at a corner. People use all sorts of hand tools to cope molding, but apparently a Dremel in this bit work really well. I've got the rough bowl shape here, and I'm blown away by how quickly I was able to do that. For the sake of the bowl, I want people who see it to know that it's power carved and not made on a lathe, as many bowls are, so I drew on the swirl design and began carving between the lines. I took the shaping all the way up to the brim of the bowl, Getting the angles for this was really easy. There were definitely tool marks, but they weren't deep enough to make the sanding really hard later on. By the way, if you're using this video as a tutorial or a walkthrough, please follow the user manual and safety instructions of your tool, and overall be responsible while you're carving. Wear a mask, eye protection, and hearing protection, because this carving produced an insane amount of sawdust that you wouldn't want to breathe in or get into your eyes. Okay, back to the bowl. 
I used the 801 to clean up the few tool marks as much as I could by using a really flat angle and putting very little pressure onto it. Here's the fully carved bowl. It looks spectacular knowing I only used one bit for this entire carving up until this point. The bit itself is missing a little bit of paint, but it's not gummed up and the carbide grains are still attached, so the bit definitely didn't dull. For a couple hours straight of strenuous work, it really didn't lose any functionality. For the sanding, I'll be using a regular Dremel drum sander from 60 grit to 200 grit. And then I finished up the sanding with the 200 grit sanding disc, as well as buffing wheels up to 400 grit. You could hand sand this if you wanted to, but I'm too lazy for that. I used the Dremel 7134 diamond point bit to engrave the bottom. I then cleaned it up one last time with a buffing wheel. And then I finished the bowl with this Howard beeswax and orange oil. I don't normally use this, but I ran out of my normal Howard beeswax and mineral oil. And I didn't see much difference anyways. I won't be using this bowl for food, so it doesn't need to be food safe. I rubbed in the oil and wax with a paper towel and let it soak in overnight, and then wiped off the excess. And here's the finished bowl. It really does look beautiful. The slight asymmetry lets you know that it's all handmade and the cherry has such a nice deep color after adding the oil. This will definitely be a great little bowl to keep your keys in and such. Overall, I'm really impressed with this bit. You can use it for bowls, spoons, mugs, or anything large really that you need to carve curves out of. If they had a similar model with even more of an angle for tighter spots, I'd probably buy that too for carving deeper bowls or mugs, since that can get really challenging with regular carving burrs. I'll put Amazon links for everything I used in the bio below if you want to check that out. Okay, well, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video or want to see more wood carving videos, please subscribe, leave a comment, or like this video, as it really helps the channel. And as always, I'll see you next time.